Hi -o, everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a video I've been waiting to do for so long. Today, LEGO has finally revealed the Muppets minifigure series. I have been waiting to talk about this for so long. They first leaked back in January the bag and then they also were either stolen or something weird back in March. I've just been dying to cover this, and finally I can after them popping up at Targets across all of America. It's finally here. I'm finally able to talk about this. So let's go ahead and let's go through all 12 of the minifigures included in here, which this is a really important series, and I'll talk about that towards the end. These will actually all be launching on May the 1st for $4.99 USD or $4.99 Canadian. And also, alongside this, they're launching on Shop at Home a pack of six figures. And I actually did a video talking about this when the Marvel ones came out, and it's really interesting. I recommend checking out that video because it's probably the easiest way for you to actually get a complete set of these figures. You don't get a discount or anything, the value is actually the exact same as if you were buying six, but again, I really recommend you check out that video because it's quite cool if this box is the same as the one that they did for Marvel and other series that we've already gotten since then. So. The very first figure here is Kermit the Frog, and I'm so, like, happy that Kermit's here. This is such an iconic character, I think. It's just insane that he's finally, like, in Lego form here, and if you didn't know, I actually did a series with Justin drawing uh, this series, literally this series, and it's pretty crazy, like, the outfits and things that we selected, because it's so close to what they did here and I, I really was so meticulous with my choices when it came to the heights I really don't like a lot of the heights they did here specifically with Kermit he is so short he's so small when you look at the whole series as a whole when they've got people using mid legs it just it doesn't make sense to me so he definitely I think needed short legs anyways he looks awesome I think the head here looks great it looks a lot better in person as well um, just from some of the videos and pictures we've already seen come up from this he's got a rainbow and of course his banjo included as well which looks great to have that piece gonna be used in the office set maybe for ideas let's hope anyways let's move on over to Miss Piggy and so great she was my favorite figure that I drew for that series and I love what Lego did here so so great I love the 2x3 tile that she's got there, but she's just so detailed, like the leg printing, the arm printing, and everything like that. It looks really, really awesome. Now we have here Fozzie Bear, and oh my goodness, like it's so great. I love all the fluff. This, I think, is what a lot of people kind of felt like they were missing when it came to the Sesame Street set. I love all the different like fluff on the legs and the like the torso and everything like that. The head mold is really great and he <laughs> comes with a banana. Would have been awesome if we got a banana peel or something like that for him. Uh, but I like the mic stand for him to do his stand up comedy. And then we have Gonzo and I absolutely love his shirt. It looks incredible. The head mold that they've created there for him and I like that he's using mid legs uh, as well like that's really detailed the printing on there and then his accessory there is Camilla the chicken which is really important I think to have with him so I love that then next we have animal and I love that he is here I mean he had to be here it looks awesome and the drum set and everything like that whole build is really really great and just the printing on him as well it's so detailed Oh my goodness, like the side arm printing, the leg printing, incredible. And I just really think that the Harry Potter wands for drum sticks have always worked really well. And then we have Janice, and she is the only other female character in the series. Again, so predictable just because, you know, they want to have a more diverse sort of uh, well-rounded minifigure series. So she's, I think, the next most logical choice here to put in. She does have an electric guitar, but her printing here is pretty good. There's not really any uses, I would say, in the series besides maybe some torsos, which uh, I guess we'll kind of jump into this next one because uh, we have Beaker. And I think that he looks amazing. And just that color, like, Again, when I was drawing the series, I realized how well Lego's color palette just lends itself to the Muppets, and I think that they 
Like, it just looks so, so great here, and he's got some sort of, um, I don't know what that machine is that he's holding in his hand to read stuff, but the head, <laughs> I think they did uh, really well there. They've really captured his look. And then we have Bunsen, and he has a little, another beaker, <laughs> if you will, and I think that the head looks great, the torso printing and uh, the leg printing there in mid legs. Again, this is like, the, this is what I was saying, where the torsos, there's going to be so many uses, I think, for these, uh, which is really awesome. Like, I like this could be used in your city and things like that. The Swedish chef's here, and I'm pretty sure that the hat and the head, it is all one piece. It's not removable or anything like that. But I love, like, again, another use for a regular figure outside of the Muppets. I love the side arm printing, how detailed that is with the stripes. I love this torso printing, leg printing. And his accessory here is actually a whisk in his hand, as well as a talking tomato. Next up, we have Rolf. Looks great. Uh, again, did the fluff thing that they did on Fozzie, which looks awesome. I really appreciate that. And I like the sheet music there for playing the piano, as well as he does come with a bust there of Mozart that he talks to. Would have been awesome if we got a piano, but I guess you'll probably just have to look up like a mock of building like a large grand piano for him. Next up, we have Statler and Waldorf. Uh, we'll start with Statler here first, and I think that he looks great. Like, I love the suit. It looks awesome. Again, more uses with these two suits here outside of the series. The head, I think they did really well with, and the accessory, it feels very modern for him, but it's cool that they did manage to sneak in a reference to Scooter here in the series. It's sad that he's not in here, um, but cool that he's included that way. And then we've also got Waldorf there, and looks great. Like, love the mid legs in dark brown, as well as the sign there, the 2x2 two two tile of the Zs, because they're falling asleep up in the balcony, and he comes with a teacup and a little plate for that as well. Overall, I really love this series. I have grown up with the Muppets, and then I wound up doing that series for Justin. And I was just really excited when I heard this was coming. Uh, you know, I love doing my Kermit the Frog impression. And I was just like, I was thinking of like videos and how many times I'm going to do that voice throughout it all. So I'm excited to do that. We will probably have at least a review up on the channel as well as we'll do a feel guide too, just to sort of help you. Because there's so many like molded heads here that it's going to be tough to be like, oh, you should feel for this and stuff like that. This is going to be a unique series, I think, when it comes to that. Because every single character here had a unique head mold, which is really sort of like we haven't had that since The Simpsons. So really awesome. So out of nowhere when it came to this series. And I'm glad that it exists. And I'm excited to be picking this up hopefully before May the 1st so that I, I get them early. But I, I don't know. Probably will be after May the 1st. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this all? Leave your comments down below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.